Hi, it's time to exercise with Asian Pokey. You know, exercise does not involve always standing up. What about people that who cannot stand up? Or in a wheelchair? Or, you know, we have to think about it in that way. When I was young, I did not walk until about age six or seven. And I remember staring out the window and the kids that are my age was playing hopscotch, jump roping and things like that. And I remember staring out the window wishing how I could, you know, go outside and play. And I tried to go outside, but I realized I couldn't stand up. So I couldn't do what they could do. So with that memory, it is important to do the exercises just as good as when you're standing up, okay? So today we're gonna to be doing some exercise that, you know, just sitting down. So we could even just like stretch from here, you know, just sitting here and we could do the head tilt, right? Make sure your core, your stomach is sucked in, get your posture straight, shoulders back, chest out, and we just do a few like this. So from stretching to actual exercising certain parts of your muscle, you know, 20 to 30 minutes is fine. And if you don't have time to do like 20 to 30 minutes, which I think that you do have a plenty of time for that, but if you choose, or you, if your priority is not spending that kind of time, you could even just do like, like a push-ups or sit-ups, even for like five minutes. It doesn't have to be you know long, 20, 30 minutes, or even 45 minutes to an hour, but just have a habit of, you know, drink something for your muscle every day, okay? So, sitting position, you know, you don't have to sit like me, cross your legs. Sometimes it's hard for American people with the long legs. So you could just sit however you want. You could even sit with the legs out like this, okay? And uh, you could just do hand, hands out like this, and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or you could go 20 like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, three, four, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Now, what you could do is like you could bring your shoulders way up and then relax. Way up and relax. Way up, squeeze all those stress and get rid of it. Okay, now, next thing that you could do is, you could take your hands, go behind your head like this, okay? And then you could bring your elbows together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Okay, now, so you could even like shake your legs out too. Okay, and for waist, sitting down in waist position, you could even go like this because the camera's here and not, I'm just gonna do it this way. So you could go cross like this. One, two, or you could bounce, right? Or you could hold it. One, two, three. And you should feel the stretch right in here. Not in here, here, because we're stretching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Make sure you're not like this, right? But try to keep your posture straight and just kind of bend one, okay, like that, okay? Again, we're not doing one, two, getting off balance, but keeping our body straight. To me, it's better for me to just sit this way. It's more comfortable for me. This is how I had sat most of my life growing up in Korea. And we could just go like this. Now again, my body is not leaning like that, right? But trying to keep us straight and just kind of bend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. You should feel it right in here. If you're doing it properly, you should feel the stretches right on the side here. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So you could count like 10 or 20 or 30. That just means like, you know, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Just kind of work um, as to your own speed. So today is what? 30th of January, you guys. Uh, tomorrow's last day. Have you adopted new way of, you know, your life? It means, you know, exercising, investing in yourself, investing in your future, mentally and physically, and that's what the exercise is for. Now, some people, they don't agree. They just say, oh, I exercise to lose weight. I exercise to build muscles, things like that. But for, you know, this exercise program that I'm putting out once a week on my YouTube channel, it's called Exercising with the Asian Pokey, is to keep our muscles loosened up, lubricated, okay? And so it's not stay stiff. And also, as we get older, it's a very, very important key, is as we get older, we're able to still move and do our own things like we used to do. Why should we not do it when we've done it? When we're in our 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s, right? Only reason we don't do it is because we forget to do it because we don't do it. You know, we stop doing those things. And so, um, you know, just continue to do what you're doing. So you have to spend extra time set aside daily to work on specifically for your muscles, you know? I mean, even the fingers, you know, going like this, squeezing back and forth, you know, that's good for you, right? And just turning your wrist, you know, I showed you on my video, other videos like this, and then elbow touch. You know, just do anything, kind of like, you know, go like this. Now, today, we're gonna be focusing on specifically on abs, so just by, raising the different levels of your leg, you'll be able to work on different parts of your app, like upper, mid, and low. And I wanna show you, this is something that I have discovered over the years that I've exercised. So here we go. So make sure that you don't put your chin down, chin is up, like pretend like you're holding an apple or an orange, right? Like holding a ball, okay? And, uh, but you know, the ball is kind of big, so, just like orange. I think orange might be better because it kind of has a soft skin outside, not hard like apple. And then just hold it. That kind of gives you so that you don't go like this, right? And then make sure that you support your neck with your hands behind your neck right in here. And um, you wanna, you know, work out as comfortable as you can if you could, right? And also safety is the key too. So, um, <clears throat> What you want to do is, now, as you come up with your knees bent like this all the way to like close to your buttock here, your uh, feet, okay? And, you know, whatever you feel coming, it doesn't have to be all the way back, you know, just kind of like that, okay? Now, as you come up, breathe out, and then breathe in as you come down like this. Now feel with your hand and see which part is working the most. Which part of the ab is tightening as you come up with your knees like this? Is it here or here or here? I feel it right here if you're doing it right, okay? I feel right in here. So you could come up like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, bring out your legs a little bit, kind of in the middle, not 
close to your butt, bring it out a little bit, and then you come up doing the exactly same thing. See where you feel it. You should feel it right by your belly button in the mid part of your app, okay? So if you don't feel the tightening in your belly button area right in your mid part of the app, then you may need to adjust. Because as you adjust, you know, see? Yeah, right there, okay? So you could see my legs are kind of out a little bit in the middle. And so a good way to remember is like leg up, works up, upper part of the ab, leg in the, going out in the middle, works in the mid part of your ab by the belly button right in here, okay? Like, like above, you know, right in this mid chest here. I mean mid ab here, okay? So like that. So you could do it like 10, start, start, start with like 10 or 15, 20. And in five minutes, you know, eventually you'll be able to do 200. But if you try to do a 200 all at once, it might be too much and you'll never want to do it again. But just work up to it gradually, and that's what I do, okay? And then I timed it and see how long it took me to do, you know, 200. I could have done like fast like this, but it's not effective. But just the consistency speed, right? And make sure you feel it. And it's targeting the certain part, like we want this to work in the mid part of our abs right here, okay? Okay, now, next thing, so you do it like, you know, 10 or 15 and then do it. So this week, rest of this week, just work on this ab, okay? Now, notice I'm gonna straighten my leg. I could go like this or I could go like that. It doesn't matter how your feet is, okay? But your leg is, you know, as a straight down as you can, okay? Now, notice that you come up, where well, are you gonna feel it? You have to feel with your hands, right? So as you come up, Breathe out. You should feel it right in here, the lower ab here, okay? Below the belly button, okay? Again, remember that you're holding an orange. And if it doesn't, you know, if you can't, um, you know, do this without actually holding on to something, it's a good, good idea to have an orange, okay? But, you know, that would be more of a, a focusing, trying to keep your oranges, which is fine. But always just take your fist too, you could go like that, okay, to help you remember, so you don't go like this, okay? You don't want to go overextend your head either, kind of in the center, like, you know, looking straight, okay? And, um, again, you do a one, two, three, four, Okay, that's it. So that is the exercise for this week. And so again, another week's gonna pass by and then another month gonna go by and another year's gonna go by without you adopting a um, way to invest in your body, mentally and physically. And be sure to click the link below and follow me on my other YouTube channels because I also teach people how to make their own money and invest and diversify their money so that you could truly have a financial freedom. And this is what I'm doing is like, I have gained or I uh, set myself up to have a financial freedom. And when I have a financial freedom, that means I have a freedom from everything. Like nobody gets to tell me how much money I get to make or how, or how little or how much I could spend. And I could go on vacations as long as I want. So that is a true freedom in all aspects of your life, not just, you know, financially. So finance, invest in your money for future so that you have a financial freedom. And when you exercise, you're investing in yourself to have a freedom to be able to continue to move and not having to rely on your loved ones, take care of you and, and feed you and clothe you as we get older. I'll see you.